Welcome to the Bella Vista Radio Club's April 2021 virtual meeting. My name is Tom. My call sign is Whiskey 5 X-Ray November Alpha, and I am the current president of the Bella Vista Radio Club. Thanks for joining us this evening. I hope that you and your family are healthy and doing well. There is still no timeline for resuming our on-site club meetings, and we will do so only when we can meet the state's guidelines. VE testing has resumed, however. We've had about three uh, VE sessions uh, in the last few months. Thanks to Ryan Wolf, KE0, CZQ, and Harps Food Stores, we will be testing at the Harps Food Stores corporate office located at 918 Gutenstone Road, in Springdale at 2 p.m. on the second Saturday of each month. The next testing session is coming up April 10th. Due to the current COVID-19 restrictions, we have to limit the number of people in the exam room at a time. So we are requesting that folks register in advance so we know how many to expect and possibly give you an estimated time for your test. We will test everyone who shows up. If you plan on attending our April 10th session, please contact Don Cooper, uh, the BVRC Licensed Testing Coordinator, at his call sign, Kilo Charlie 7 Delta Charlie at ARRL.net. The results of the testing session, a very successful testing session, is we had uh, uh, 13 candidates. We have nine new techs as a result of the VE session. And I want to congratulate them. Cody Montgomery, Kilo India 5, Oscar Tango Bravo. Rusty Allstadt, Kilo India 5, Oscar Tango Charlie. Susan Wallenberg, Kilo India 5, Oscar Tango, Tango, Tango Delta. Brian Duvall, Kilo India 5, Oscar Tango Echo. Brian Neufer, Kilo India 5, Oscar Tango Foxtrot. Billy Kissinger, Kilo India 5, Oscar Tango Golf. Richard Thibodeau, Kilo India 5, Oscar Tango Hotel. Kevin Vickner, Kilo India 5, Oscar Tango India. And Ryan Hooper, Kilo India 5, Papa Charlie Alpha. And... Uh, <clears throat> A big round of applause for Thomas Snyder, Kilo India 5, Oscar Yankee Juliet on getting his tech license. Thomas is a young ham, and he is the son of Dave, Whiskey 5, Juliet, Quebec, Kilo, and Tracy, Kilo India 5, November, Bravo, Charlie. And... The three new members are Stan Miller, Richard Thibodeau, and um, Gregory Gass, Whiskey Zulu 5 Tango Alpha Zulu. And that brings a, a BVRC membership to 141. In addition, I want to thank John Williams, K5 DVT for uh, allowing the Bella Vista Radio Club to continue with the wide area net at 2100 hours each Wednesday evening uh, using his Skywarn repeaters. Information on accessing the repeaters, the uh, Fayetteville repeater on Mount Kessler uh, it is on 147.315 positive offset and a tone of 97.4 and the green force repeater is 145.310 negative offset tone of 103.5 well this evening we will have another in a series of interesting and informative presentations rob Scherzer, november 5 sierra quebec yankee is a bbrc member and has been active in the Northwest Arkansas area on VHF and UHF. Rob recently upgraded to general and is getting active on HF. 
with his new ICOM 7300. Tonight's presentation is titled WinLink Express on HF. Now it's time for the presentation. Please use the chat box and let us know you're here. Your comments and questions are welcomed and encouraged. Thanks again for joining us this evening. Now sit back, enjoy, and learn. Hello everyone. Today I'd like to share what I know about WinLink. WinLink is a worldwide radio messaging system that uses amateur radio and government frequencies to provide radio interconnection services that include email with attachments, positioning, reporting, weather, bulletins, emergency and relief communications, and message relay. This is from a uh, presentation that you can find uh, on WinLink's website. WinLink um, really has uh, three different modes there. It has a conventional system that uses the internet and stores the messages on these backbone servers. And then there's a hybrid mesh network that transfers messages over long distances using radio-only HF forwarding. And then peer-to-peer -peer direct connections between two client stations without any use of the internet or infrastructure. Then uh, this is kind of shows you the, the layout of the... Um, the CMS servers at the top, the, going through the internet, uh, the remote message servers, which are um, individual, and then uh, through HF, uh, in this case, I'm going to demonstrate uh, Vera HF is what I'm going to use. Okay, so um, I have an ICOM 7300 and uh, radio. And um, with an external AH4 antenna uh, tuner that allows me to use a 148 foot long wire antenna. I run my radio off of AGM batteries uh, charged by solar panels, and I have a uh, charge controller right here, as you see. And um, I run it off that uh, pretty much all the time. Um, it's uh, not unlimited, but I do have a 14-volt uh, power supply as a backup. So first thing you want to do is, uh, for the 7300, just go to the 7300 page and find the support to download the um, drivers and uh, set up the radio on your computer. And uh, there's documentation that you can find on the web to do that. And then if you um, go to WinLink, which is www.winlink.org, and you can uh, find WinLink Express there, and also you'll need to set up an account. Um, and then also, I downloaded Vera HF from the website here, which is uh, rosmodem.wordpress.com. And the... Um, I use the uh, high performance here, and with the 7300, you can actually use the tactical mode, which allows a wider bandwidth. Um, so after I tried both the software packages out, I registered them both. And uh, paying for Vera HF in particular um, gives you uh, greater speeds or greater throughput. So, uh, again, uh, download the drivers uh, for the 7300, get it connected to your computer via UHB or USB cable, uh, get WinLink going and Vera HF. Um, so, first thing you do is, in my case, is turn on the radio, and before you plug in the USB um, cable there, and that my computer seems to like that better. So, um, after you've done that, then you'll want to run Vera HF, and um, 
this wouldn't be normal but you'd come in here and you would uh, make some settings that you need to do to uh, get um, the sound card set up and also the, able to control your radio with your uh, with your USB cable and you also need to change some settings in your 7300 but on the um, HF the Vera HF site there is a um, quick setup guide that tells you exactly what to do okay so let's say you've already set up Vera HF now so starting from scratch if you have a normal session you want to open WinLink Express so you'll go into the settings and um, go to WinLink Express setup and uh, you'll put in your call sign and uh, password grid spare grid square all right and then you want to after you've done that uh, you want to compose a message which I've already done but you can go here and click on new message and put in your email address or where you want to send it to and your subject obviously in body you may attach a file but you're limited to um, a fairly small size I think it's 126 K if I remember right and there is if you attach an image there is a built-in utility where you can resize the image and then you want to select either a WinLink message if you're going to go through the internet portions or if you want to do peer-to-peer -peer with uh, another radio radio to radio all right, so I've already uh, set a message up and posted it to my outbox. And uh, here I have a message in my outbox. It really just says, hello, BVRC. This is an outgoing email from WinLink Express using Vera HF 73. All right, so uh, go back to my inbox here. Then uh, the next step is we want to uh, open a session. So... Um, I have Vera HF WinLink selected here, and so I'm going to go ahead and open the session there. And so what it'll do is it'll open this session box as well as, in the background, and here I'm going to open it up, is your Vera HF. Okay, so um, what we want to do now is, is uh, we want to check... Um, our channel selection here and we'll want to update via the internet and get the latest uh, propagation I guess you'd say information and so uh, we'll just uh, pause while we're waiting okay we're gonna try this one here see if this works for us Okay, looks like we got a connection starting here. May not be a good one though. Only getting, only getting about 80 uh, BPS.
haven't heard those screeches before. But looks like it's done. Alright, so now we have, um, let's see. One in our inbox there. Sending this message via computer to the internet to my WinLink address to be retrieved via WinLink. There you go. So I had sent that via my Gmail account and received it here. And let's see if my uh, Gmail account got this. I'm gonna... Okay, so here we see that uh, I did get um, the email message that I sent a little while ago. And... Um, you can see uh, one minute ago there, so there you go. All right. Well, um, I hope to have a video as well for the peer-to-peer. -peer. That would be next. Okay, uh, KG5YJW uh, Jeff Newberry in Berryville uh, agreed to uh, help me out to uh, demonstrate peer-to-peer -peer Winlink Express. All right, so what I've done is... Uh, I've posted a message to my outbox here, and um, when you have the message, you want to send it as a peer-to-peer. -peer. Uh, otherwise, when you connect to the other individual, it won't think that there's anything to send. So that's one thing you need to do. Um, so I've got it already ready to go here in my outbox. So I'll go to my inbox here, and I'm going to open a Vera HF WinLink session, just because the way I like to do it. And um, then what I do is I come over here and I switch to peer-to-peer. -peer. All right, we have already tested uh, something here. So uh, we've got a frequency planned out. And I really, uh, let me open the Vera here so we can see it. And uh, I'm just going to click start and it should, uh, let me turn the volume, should uh, auto connect to him. He's sitting there waiting. And here we go. So it's calling him. So I'm in Prairie Grove, so it's not very far. I haven't looked at the distance, but uh, I think it's under 50 miles. And we're on... Uh, 80, 80 meters right now. Got a little faster there. If you have a uh, sending a lot of information, it'll it'll progressively get faster and faster as you go and kind of find the limit of what it can do. Okay, I see one in my inbox there. And that was it. All right. So again, I want to thank Jeff for helping me uh, this afternoon uh, to do this session. All right. Um, this is Rob Scherzer, uh, N5SQY in Prairie Grove. And uh, thanks for letting me do my first video here for the BVRC. And hopefully it was somewhat informative, might get you interested in WinLink. I know I'm learning stuff all the time. I'm, I'm really new to it, and so is Jeff. All right, have a good evening. 73. Well, we're back. I hope you found this presentation enjoyable and informative. Thank you for being a participant, and my thanks to Rob for taking the time and the effort to create this presentation. Fine business. And speaking of fine business, this wouldn't be on the uh, YouTube channel, and you wouldn't be watching this right now 
if it wasn't for the uh, technical expertise and the time and, and effort that Wayne Patton K5UNX puts into these uh, videos every month. And Wayne, we really appreciate all you do for the club, for the hobby, and for getting these things into people's living rooms. I appreciate it. We all do. Your comments, questions, and suggestions are welcome and encouraged. Please address these to info at bellavistaradioclub.org. Also, for more information on the Bella Vista Radio Club, visit our website at bellavistaradioclub.org. We invite you to be a member of the largest amateur radio club in the Northwest Arkansas region. We exist to serve you and the amateur radio community. 73 and stay safe, healthy, and on the air. Good evening from W5XNA.